and strikes. But he asked his corner, and they said they thought he wanted at the end of the round, but very no, close. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that, please. please. What did ready, he do? Ready. Mark Otter warning Tim Welch for some sort of verbal. They said he was talking to Aljo. Earlier leg attack for Aljamain Sterling here. O'Malley doing a good job of attacking his wrist. We saw Leon Edwards do the same thing against Kamaru Usman, attack the far wrist, not allowing your opponent to get to a takedown. Wow, he got out of it. Nicely done. Good job by Sterling, but perhaps that shot late in round one was to get a feel for what it might be like early round two. Sterling on the... Oh! It now belongs to Sean O'Malley. That's crazy. Let's see it again. Aljo rushes. Look. Look at that, Joe. I mean, oh, just slides goodness. out of the way. Just drops him. It looked like Aljo was still moving. I was kind of surprised at the stoppage. That right hand was fantastic, though. Look at this. I like to see the final finishing sequence. Look at this right hand, though. Look at the timing behind this. Mm. Look at this. Picture perfect. Mm. And then swarms him with hammer fists. Hit him with some big shots. Boom. It stiffened Aljo. Aljo tried to roll I to guess a leg line. turned up, but I, he was still moving. He was. He was. I moving. mean, look, it's... It's a great stoppage, but you want to give the champion a chance to recover. But man, what a picture-perfect right hand by Sean O'Malley. It was perfect. And, and the atmosphere in this TD Garden is just insane right now, DC. This is absolutely wild. I mean, when when you get you get to be a part of star making performances, that's exactly what you just saw. You just saw Sean O'Malley go to the next level. He lands a beautiful right hand against Aljamain Sterling, the best man weight of all time, and he finishes him. There is nothing like a guy having an opportunity and then catching it in that way. Tremendous by the young man. Hey, second champion from the Contender Series, and a guy that since day one, people thought he could be here. He's an absolute sniper. That right hand couldn't have been a whole lot cleaner, and he came out to the song that said, if you are what you say you are, a superstar, he is that in spades. To make it official, here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of round number two. Declare the winner by TKO and no! Undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Champion of the world, Sugar Sean.
Sean O'Malley. How does that feel? What's up, Boston? It feels right, baby. It feels right. Sean, you envisioned this. You trained for this. Did you expect it to go down the way it did? Honestly, this was the most nervous I've ever been for a fight. In my eyes, Aljamain Sterling is the best bantamweight of all time. So yeah, I was a little bit nervous for this fight, but I never lost the confidence because I know what I possess in this fucking right hand, baby! And Sean, take a look up at the screen, and I want you to enjoy this right hand because it was as pretty as any right hand that's ever been thrown inside the octagon. Look at this timing. I said, I said going into this fight, you have, it only takes one mistake against me. I don't even know if that was a mistake. I'm just that fucking good. Sean, this is a monumental moment for you in your career. I want you to enjoy it, but I want you to tell us, give us your thoughts now on what it means to be the champion and what kind of reign we're gonna see from you. Yeah, this is just the beginning of the sugar era. I'm running this shit till 2035, baby. Did Cheeto win? Cheeto won tonight. Was it boring? Probably. I'll whoop Cheeto's ass in December in Vegas at T-Mobile. Let's fucking go, baby! Sean, I want you to enjoy this. You worked so hard for it. You are the new bantamweight champion of the world. Sugar!